Hi, today I'm going to read Mr Clumsy by Roger Hargreaves. It was a rather nice morning. In the sky, the sun was up, shining. In the trees, the birds were up, singing. Have you heard the birds singing in your garden? It's been very nice. But it, in a rather scruffy house in the middle of a field, somebody wasn't up. Can you guess who that somebody might be? His, his alarm clock went off. Bling! Can you see his messy house? Mr. Clumsy woke up, reached out an arm to switch off his alarm clock and knocked it onto the floor. Whoops, he said. That's the third alarm clock I've broken this week. Mr. Clumsy, as you might have guessed, was a rather clumsy fella. Can you see his clock? It says eight o'clock. Time to get up. He got out of bed and switched on the radio. The knob came off in his hand. Whoops, he said. That's the second radio I've broken this week. <laughs> or this month, sorry. He went downstairs. The postman had been and there was a letter waiting for Mr Clumsy lying on the doormat. He picked it up and went into the kitchen. First things first, he said, and took a slice of bread out of the bread bin and popped it into the toaster. Now, he thought, I wonder who my letter is from. He looked at the letter in his hand, but the letter wasn't in his hand. What was, what was in his hand was a slice of bread. I don't understand it. Where has my letter gone? Guess where? Can you guess where the letter had gone? Uh-oh, that's right. He'd put the letter in the toaster instead of the bread. And there it was, browning nicely. Whoops, he said, as he fished it out. Ouch, he said, dropping it. It's hot. <laughs> Upside down. Mr Clumsy bent down to pick up the letter, but it, in doing so, he banged his forehead, that's here, um, on the kitchen table, and in doing so, he fell forward, got his head stuck in the bread bin, all of which wasn't surprising, really. As we said, he was a rather clumsy fella. In fact, he was very a very clumsy fella. Actually, he was the clumsiest fe fella in the whole world. Then, that very same morning, after he managed to get the bread, off, the bread bin off his head, Mr Clumsy went to town to do his shopping. First things first, he said, and went to the bank to get some money. And somehow, while he was at the bank, Mr Clumsy, while he was writing a cheque, managed to spill ink all over the bank manager. Whoops, said Mr Clumsy. <laughs> He went into the butcher's. Morning, butcher, he said cheerily. <laughs> then went, then he somehow managed to trip over his shoelaces and somehow managed to fall into the butcher's shop window and somehow managed to end up with a string of sausages all round his neck. Whoops, he said. Mr. Nick, Mr. Clumsy's next call was at the supermarket. Just inside the door was a huge pyramid of cans of soup. Well, he said, you can imagine what happened, can't you? Mmm, explained, exclaimed Mr. Clumsy. Soup would be really nice for supper. And he picked up a can, but not the can from the top. No. Which one do you think he picked up? <gasps> oh, no. He's picked up the one from the bottom. Whoops, said Mr. Clumsy, as they all came tumbling down, and he went on his way, rubbing his head because they bumped him on the head. On his way home, he called in at the farm for some eggs. And somehow, while he was crossing the farmyard, he managed to trip up. And somehow, as, the, as he was falling, he managed to grab hold of the farmer. And somehow, they both managed to finish up in the duck pond. Oh dear. Splash! Whoops, said Mr. Clumsy. Please, said the farmer as they sat together in the duck pond. In future, can I deliver your eggs to you? That's extraordinarily kind of you, said Mr. Clumsy. Don't mention it, said, murmured the farmer. He doesn't look very happy and they look very, very wet. <laughs> Mr. Clumsy went home. First things first, he said, and went for a bath. 
but as he was stepping into the bath, his foot somehow managed to slip on the soap. Oh dear, that's very slippery. And he somehow managed to do a somersault and somehow managed to la land head, head first in the linen basket. Whoops, he said in a very muffled voice because he couldn't hear, couldn't hear him properly. Later, he went downstairs for his supper. Soup from the supermarket, sausages from the butchers and eggs from the farm. Or rather, soup from the saucepan that had just boiled over. Sausages in the frying pan that had caught fire. And eggs, oh dear, very, very, very scrambled eggs. As normal, Mr Clumsy had a funny sort of supper. Hmm, he said, that was really nice. Leaning back on his chair, but he better be careful because what might happen? <laughs> Crash! Whoop! said Mr T Clumsy. I think I better go to bed. And he did. He's fallen off his chair and bumped his head again. And that is the end of the story. Good night, Mr Clumsy. Mr Clumsy le leaned over to turn off his bedside light. Oh dear, crash! <laughs> Whoops-a-daisy. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Bye-bye. <laughs>